श्री कथिर आनंद जी ऑनरेबल स्पीकर आई वुड लाइक टू बिगिन बाय एक्सप्रेसिंग माय ग्रेटिट्यूड टू आवर डीएमके पार्टी लीडर टू एम के स्टालिन एंड टू आवर पार्लियामेंट्री लीडर श्री टी आर बालू फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू फुट फोर्थ माय व्यूज इन दिस बजट सेशन sir normally a budget means the detailed reporting of the income and expenditure of the government in a particular year but if you look at this budget it, it looks like an election manifesto or the next five year plan budget after budget there are juicy announcements but many remain unfulfilled date this budget looks like the election propaganda and unfortunately this government remains as an announcement government and publicity mongering government our leader the mk stalin too condemned this budget in budget 2021 stating that the central government has ignored the tamil nadu for the last 6 years and had given an impression in this budgetary exercise that it was implementing mega schemes for the state like showing a mirage mirage to a thirsty cow the central government has given an illusionary lollipop to the people of tamil nadu with an eye on polls i do want to recite a verse from thirukural for a good governance kodai ali sengol kudiyombal nangum udayavanam vendar koli it means to glorify a state the king is to provide for the welfare of the people to to be consistent in it compassionate to all rule to ruler imp, ruler to rule impartially and to always preserve the people but the budget seems to have gone away with the principles of good governance sir last year the finance minister promised an income generation and expenditure to the tune of 30 lakh crores but unfortunately nothing could happen people of the country suffered the worst setback in the annals of indian history unfortunately fortunately the government they escaped and the corona took all the blame sensing the fact that the budget 2021 was a sham budget as nothing could be achieved as promised so this government has a novel way to tax people they reduce excise duty on petrol and diesel but on the other hand they increase cess in different forms i am not sure whether they share the cess amount with the states in this backdrop further reduction in excise duty and a hike in cess will affect the financial positions of all the states sir each year the finance minister puts out a number and a word that get much much attention the funds the government hopes to raise through disinvestment and the word privatization the government should focus on pulling the growth growth with without gliding through the path of widening physical growth this year the investment targets have become larger peaking at 2.1 lakh crores in 2021 speaker sir it is high time that the government should stop selling in addition rbi had mentioned that nps will rise from 9.7% in in september 2020 to 16.2% in september 2021 no mention by the government on this how to handle uh, how to ha tackle it in the budget so the government speaks about physical expansion without even addressing the current problem of inequitable growth everybody knows that it has been the middle class <coughs> and the working class who have been mostly affected by the pandemic this budget was presented at a time the economy of india is expected to decline by 8% this year the budget was supposed to provide a path to recovery which has been dragged down by the slow demand and the century's worst pandemic ever the budgetary allocation for the education is very low the government is talking about the new education policy sangama shiksha abhiyan is only 31.50 crores school education alloc allocation is co come down the allocation for mid day meals is also lower today total uh, national education mission allocation that includes teacher education as well as ready is, is also reduced in fact the finance minister had not a word for the vast number of students who have struggled to keep themselves going and pass here not a word about the students benefit education technology edutech technology in india is expected to value at 3.5 billion by 2022 the government should also reduce the 18% gst associated associated with online education services because during the pandemic only because of this they were able to do the online classes the national education policy claim more expenditure over the next 10 years sir i'm uh, please continue but all but all the finance minister mentioned was strengthening of 15000 schools in the in the national education policy 
But why 15,000 schools? Which are these schools? The finance minister has chosen to add 150 signing schools. But these two with the private and NGO support. Sir, there is nothing about labor and also creation of employment. I'm, I'm rushing up, sir. Give me some more time. Can I kindly conclude? Because sir, we are short of time. Sir, very important issue, sir. We have to do it until 12 o'clock. Sir, sir, please, sir. You have 6 minutes. It's more than 5 minutes. Ask him to conclude. Sir, support to the farmers. Sir, in the budget, there are not even a single word about the three farm laws which has been enacted. And also, the budget allocation for PM Kisan and the Pradham Mandri Faisal Bhima Yojana has also come down. And also, sir, for the farmers, when they produce, I make a humble request to the government. That when the farmers carry the produce through on the highways, on the Nahai roads as well as the toll roads, Kindly they conclude should be in half, half a minute. Conclude in half a minute. Sir, sir please, sir. And also, the government should, uh, the government has to encourage the exports. During the previous years, there was a scheme where the, when the agri exports were encouraged and 100% tax free was given. But nowadays, it was cut short. Thank you. And therefore, therefore the, the, the government has to look into that. Thank Sir, you. I give you on one practical example. In a budget, how Tamil Nadu handled agriculture. Sir, during the time of Dr. Kalanjar Karnanidhi, he invented in 1989. Thank he you. Installed. Sir, please, uh, sir, two, two minutes I'm concluding, sir. No, two, no, minutes, two minutes, sir. Two half minutes, a minute. Conclude it immediately. Sir, Dr. Kalanjar Karnanidhi, he installed Udavar Sandai, that is called a farmer market. Any part and, uh, any part and parcel of Tamil Nadu had small kiosk places where the farmer directly came to that place. Thank you, thank you very much. Sir, I'm concluding, sir. I'm concluding, sir. Just call me, Naji. Sir, I'm concluding, sir, please, sir. Sir, one, one important point, very important point, sir. Concluding, very, concluding, sir. Conclude then. So, this farmers, uh, this farmer market has to be installed all over India. This will encourage the farmers to sell their produce directly to the consumers where it will not have any more intervention. Thank you very sir, much. Final point, sir. Thank one you very point. much. One final point, sir. One final point, sir. Sir, Tamil Nadu, 19,591 crores money is spending from the government of India. This the time the Tamil Nadu needs this money because we have got pending agriculture produce, products, uh, uh, projects and all. Therefore, Dhanyawad Sabapati ji. बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद कि आपने मुझे केंद्रीय बजट के संदर्भ में बोलने की अनुमति दी मैं सोचती हूं कि ग्रामीण क्षेत्र के एकदम अंतिम छोर से उठकर आया हुआ इंसान इस बजट की समीक्षा ज्यादा अच्छी करेगा अब से पहले तीन घंटे पहले जिस तरह का माहौल ये ना वीडियो उंगली कपड़े चलना प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर पढ़ेंगे हमारे काम है इंगा चैनल सब्सक्राइब भी पढ़ेंगे